Hello and welcome to a new episode. My name is Rimtar, sick of the rim. And the topic today The victimizer's mindset or the psychopath mindset. Of course, true psychology is born with the way of thinking. It's pretty much the same as the mindsets that slave masters used against the slaves. The exploiters mindsets, the gold kill, callous mindset. The same mindset farmers use when they look to their victims, the animals, their race. Have you ever heard something like this? You are not important because you are different than me. You are black, you are white, you have way too much hair. You are not act like me. Why is your time a stack, yo? Prove to me why I should be kind to, do, to you or to them. That's the mindset. The victim artist mindset or the psychopath mindset is pretty callous. I've no the persons how use this mindset feel no empathy for their victims. As true psychopaths also feel not empathy for anybody else. True 100% psychopath. I have some lack in the albicola and the frontal cortex. The parts in the brain um, that is that are working when you use empathy. That are responsible for empathy and sympathy. The capacity to be altruistic. The capacity to look things from the suffering's position. Something that is lacking uh, in neural density in the minds of psychopaths. But so I maybe explain to you now today. There is something also as a psychopath might play. So I will explain to you what that means. That's actually a learned kind way of psychopathic behavior. That's been used by oppressors around the whole century, around the whole ages, for all humanity. So called humanity. Is this the same way that slave masters look to their slaves? A kettle. A chattel. Chattel. Chattel and kettle both come from the same word meaning property. Both come from the Latin word capital meaning property. And in a way, slaves are our life stuff. Because dog is also kind of property. I'm so f yeah, with all the euphemism games people like to play. Therefore, I will be clear. I try to not play euphemism games myself because I'm not a hypocrite. The psychopath mindset is pretty arrogant, self-righteous, and refused to see his own arrogance, just like the psychopath himself. Any psychopath, so far I know, as so far the research go, is narcissistic, but not all narcissists are psychopaths. Yes. 
difference between sociopaths and psychopaths, the way I see it is that a psychopath is more manipulative when one sociopath is more of doing the work themselves, more getting his hands dirty. They are give less about their reputation. You may can say. The way a psychopath looks to the world is like one extremely violent cat look to mouse. They see you like prey. And they are the fairy, the very arrogant. It's a very violent uh, killer. The cat is there. There are predators. Your prey, they are predators. They like they don't care about you. They don't feel emotions. They have an error in the uh, in the frontal cortex. That means they don't feel empathy and speak to clear not in the way we feel. They can play it. Oh yes, psychopaths, just like narcissists, are perfect actors because they see what how people act, but they don't are confused by their own emotions, which psychopaths truly don't have. They can play it, they can imitate it. Maybe sometimes they can even believe they have, but they are not. In the most cases, psychopaths do not believe truly that they have emotions. Maybe they try to let people feel they have. It's just, just a way of manipulating you and playing you, playing you in them or hand. The psychopath mindset works in this way, or the victimized mindset, that they also don't care about the victims, at least if they can get some profit out of it. Slave masters kick us away sometimes and rape them and get away with it because they are property. As long as the slave recovered within a couple of days, it was all nice and dandy, according to law. Because they are property, of course. It is certainly in the interest of all to treat our slaves with proper kindness. It is necessary to our deriving the greatest amount of profit from them. Abuse them like that. That shows up in my pocket. So why, why do you, why would you do something like that? Eerily similar, isn't it? According to the mindset of the slave master, their psychopaths mindset. Excuse me if you find it offensive if I use so on you, Mr. Carnists or Mrs. Carnists. Because you all also say, uh, look at from a bit of a narcissist, at least, and also maybe in psychopath mindset. When you look, it's from the victimizer's point of view when you say, it is so hard to be vegan. There are so less, um, fewer uh, choices I can take for mascara or uh, so, so less um, places where I can eat and there are so fewer recipes I can try there are more than 3,000, 4,000 types of different vegetables all are edible for homemade consumption Oh, yeah. Reason I call you not humans. This is pretty easy, actually, because the word human and humane are practically the same, and those how use the victim master's mindset to oppress their victims, no matter if it are animals, 
or species of the hominids, virus species. Always takes so long to take the right position. Now, to be honest, people take 400 years for a majority of white men to stop seeing black slag property. In another 100 years, where they are start to give women the right to vote and treat them more equally. So, screw the majority. Democracy seems to have failed many times because people are very easy to manipulate, and psychopaths have proved that wrong in the whole history. Do you know what is the opposite of love? Most people say hatred. They are very wrong. Because the opposite of love is empathy, indifference. It maybe seems, if you look at things from the flag, from the down, it's perception. But in contrary with hatred and love, how both are very strong emotions, empathy does not care, does not consider his victims. It is the ego, in other words, malice is hatred, love is compassion. Love and hatred are different in so many ways, but also similar in so many ways, in contrary with apathy. House without flame is without will. Only cares if it affects them, and if it don't affect them, so let the world rot him. That's what the ego thinks. Ego is pretty dumb. Ego is pretty pathetic. And then that is only what is needed to let an atrocity take in place. You only have to need one evil person to make a whole country full of the evil worshippers and turn them into an army. Because egos does not care if something is true and I don't want to find it out as long as if it's benefit them in some way indifference the opposite of love calls calluses does not care. The psychopaths have one very strong need for self gratification and gratification. And therefore, he tries to manipulate others into his bidding. A psychopath, in contrary with a sociopath, not so much the time. And to the bidding himself. He wants to get in a good light by society. You find the majority of sociopaths in prison, if you ask me, the way I see it, and the way I use the words, and you see the most psychopaths in business. CEOs, one out of five. CEOs is the psychopath. Pretty evil people, if you ask me. And of course, this one CEO will corrupt the others in doing the same kind of evil stuff. 
glam, grandiose, superficial charm. That's something that I'm excited about. Last emotions. Violence to animals. Cruelty. Abuse to our parents. It is time that we stop to use this victimizer's mindset and that we stop worshipping evil people. It is time that we learn some humility and don't live for the galette of gluttony. That we try to live in harmony. But only with each other, but also to all other life on this planet, and we learn to live in harmony with the three laws of ecology, and that we stop dictating and exploiting and tormenting and enslaving and etc., murdering other living beings and raping them because we liked or we claim that we like their tastes, that we claim that it is our culture and therefore is it justified. You know in Saudi Arabia it is legal and normal to wear, uh, to wear rape children and you can marry a child uh, from uh, six years, uh, seven, eight years old. So, why? In hell's name. Why in hell's name? Do you care about laws? Laws are just foul. There are not there are not justice. There are just power. And laws are always broken. And there needs to be broken to create social change. If the apathetic, arrogant, or even evil government refuse to see the wrongs of their system, what I try to let people see is the same exact mindset a psychopath use. It's the same exact mindset. Meet their egg eaters. Use against their victims. When they say, it is national, lions do it. I need more protein. Psychopaths can also say, I need my triggerings to calm down. And therefore, I eliminate, let the guy there be eliminated. A psychopath can also say, I uh, wanna have uh, eat the court. Can a psychopath say, and therefore he manipulates somebody in having sexual intercourse with him. It's not good. Psychopaths also can say, I go into line about anybody on my job. So I can go to a higher place and I, because of my superficial job, I get away with it. This was a psychopath's can I say. Just like that one meat eater say. There is no law against it. Sell oh, damn gosh, the same thing as psychopaths say. 
international law, why shall I not do it? Psychopaths do not care about if something is justifiable. Psychopaths don't care about if something feels not good because they don't feel something. Their dog can place themselves in the positions of the victims. In contrary, people who are not psychopaths have a proper neur neuro uh, neurons in the adductor and frontal cortex, frontal cortex, and therefore can feel emotions and feel empathy. I think. If I'm being honest, that a psychopath is more of, is more of a victim of his own than you are a victim of the system. And I think a psychopath deserves not to laugh. At least not so how is also narcissistic, but so far I know all of our prove me wrong. I like to see a study that prove psychopaths are not necessarily narcissists or selfish. Until then I say <laughs> that penalty. And if that shook you or feel, make you feel angry or brings up feelings of animosity against me, maybe this will convince you. Of that my position is right. Any year, uh, any year, um, two point eight trillion marine animals, sixty billion land animals are executed for no other reason than people like their taste spots and use the victimizers mindsets or like I to call it, the psychopath mindset. Only one out of hundreds people are psychopaths. And that is one heritage disease. That means that if your parent is a psychopath, it does not mean that you are Ultimately, a psychopath, but the chance is very hard higher. Technically, anybody can uh, get a psychopath's children, but the chance if your parents are both psychopaths are very high. I'll see you next time. Think about what I have to say today and go vegan. Stop using the mindset of might make right, the victimizer's mindset, the psychopath mindset against the animals. Because you are, I hope, not a psychopath. And you have the capacity to feel empathy. In other words, I know you understand the difference between just and in just the difference between a good person uh, and a bad person because you are hating all people how harm children i bet you do so why not despising people how abuse animals this hypocritical why despising one and glorifying the other and defending the other, when neither victim wants the abuse. 
The animals don't want to be your victims, just like the children don't want to be the victims of a pedophile. Must always a small group of enlightened people explain to the masses why exterminate in masses, murdering innocents, costing the max amount of harm to other living beings which is totally unnecessary, is evil. I hope this is not too hard for you to gasp. Apologize for the way you have lived. There is no excuse against veganism. Apologize for the way you have lived. Make a plea and move a voice. Step in the 14th century already. Veganism and give people actually a chance to do something is contrary with plain lip service and doing nothing. Veganism can make this world a better place. It can stop world hunger easily. That the major because the majority of the food on the planet is feeds to livestock. The vast majority. You don't have to go outside to figure out that conclusion. The majority of the greenhouse gas emissions, 51%. Comes from animal agriculture. Deforestation. According to the World Bank, 80 one percent is directly coming uh, is directly cut because of animal agriculture. Seventy percent is for grazing. Twenty one percent is for feed for the animals. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out this in conclusion. You only have to have a brain and be not an addict. When darkness and light become one, the reality splits away and the truth becomes invisible. 